Hi, my name is Mir and I'm a senior at Stockdale and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint today. I've been doing art for a pretty long time and I'd say I'm pretty good at it, but you guys are going to have to judge that for yourselves today. I like doing pen and inks and still lifes, but today we're going to be doing a landscape and it's this really pretty sunset in the mountains. So for materials, you're going to need whatever you're painting on. I'm using paper and then you're going to need a pencil and eraser for sketching a rag or a paper towel to wipe your brushes off on, a palette to put your paints on, a cup for water to rinse your brushes off in, and then for brush sizes you're going to need three sizes of brushes, a large, medium, and a small. And for the large and medium I want you to have a flat brush. And then for paint colors that you're going to be using, you're going to be using the three primary colors, of course. You're going to be using white, black, and purple. So for things first, you're gonna start on a sketch like mine. You're gonna just put in like the base shapes. You're gonna draw on the lake, the base of the mountain, and the mountain range, and that's basically it. This does not need to be perfect, it's just a sketch. Starting on the background, it's gonna be like one of those TikTok videos where you blend it in. Yeah. Um, so from the top, you're gonna start from a really light yellow. If you're gonna mix it, it's gonna be a lot of white and a tiny bit of yellow. And then you're gonna move on to just like a normal yellow in the middle here. And then finally at the bottom, you're gonna do orange. This is kind of a mess right now. But when you're doing the backgrounds, you wanna go horizontal strokes really long. You don't wanna stop halfway through, else you're gonna start picking up the paint and it's just gonna, you're just gonna mess up, I guess. And when you're doing this, it's really helpful in the background to add a tiny bit of water to your paint so you can spread them out more and you won't use as much paint. So once you finish with the background and it looks something like this, we're going to move on to the mountain ranges and you're going to put in just like a base coat of paint and the front mountain range is going to be a lot darker than the back one. Once you've gotten down the base coat of the mountain, you're going to move on to the details and this part's like really free-handed, so do what you want. So do what you want. But basically you're going to grab some purple and some white on your brush and you're just gonna streak it on like the top of the mountain and basically in like any direction you want it to be and then you're gonna blend it back out a tiny tiny bit with more purple. Once you're done with the details, this is what it's gonna kind of look like. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's not perfect on the reference and it's probably not gonna be perfect on yours either, it doesn't matter. But then you're gonna move on to the upper bank of the lake and here it's gonna be a dark green which you can either mix using blue and yellow together, or if you have a dark green, then you can use that too. When you're doing the upper bank, you're going to draw a line from the topmost part of the, the lake and just go across, and that's where you're gonna stop. And this is kind of the green I want you to do. You can make it lighter if you want, but this is the darkest you can get. While the dark green is still wet, you're gonna pick up some yellow and put some streaks in like that and they can just be wherever you want and they don't need to be blended in. Once you put in that stuff, that stuff, you're gonna start putting in like bunches of trees. They're just gonna go like up down like this and fill them in like that. And it's gonna be the same like dark green you, you were using before. And you can put them in wherever you want. But if you're following the reference and there's probably gonna be one here there's gonna be like some weird one here, like some here, and then there's gonna be some in the middle here that's just like more of like a bush than trees. Cool. Once you've finished with the trees in the background, we're gonna move on to the bushes by the lakeside. Did you saw these in the earlier clip? No, you didn't. But we're gonna use this green we have as the base coat of like the entire bank. And you're gonna take that green and add a little bit of black to it. And you're gonna do a rough up down strokes like I have here. It's just like just up down like that, yes. And when you are doing it on the thing, you're gonna go from a really dark shade of green to a lighter shade of green, like a moss green. Oh, talking about shades, you can do it. That is a joke from Brianna Call. Cool. Once you finish with the bushes, you're gonna move on to the lake. Right now we're just gonna put in like a base coat where the lake is. So wherever you drew the lake, you're gonna take a really light orange and you're just gonna 
go across and fill in the shape of the lake. Now we're going to do the reflection of the trees on the lake. This part's kind of hard to do, I guess. And I've started it a tiny bit. But basically, you're going to take a combination of black, the green you're using, and white, and a tiny bit of yellow if you want. And you're just going to drag it down like this onto your painting. Now that you're finished with like the reflections on the lake, we're going to move down to this bottom corner. And basically you do the same thing as what you did with the background. And you're going to go from the darkest to lightest shade. So you're going to take that really dark green and then move outwards, getting lighter and lighter by adding yellow into the green. Don't add white, that changes the color a lot. Until you get out to the like, border of the lake and then you blend that into the orange. Final, final step. There's a tree up here, so you're just gonna put the leaves in, and they're, oops, they're like really random strokes, you'd say. So you're just gonna put them in like that. It's wherever you want, as long as it's in this area. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like. I'm kind of messy, but that's fine. And if I want to tell you guys, it was a light green. You use a light green for these. And that's about the last step. So you're done now, and this is what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty, but if you don't think yours looks good, call it modern art. No one knows what's going on in modern art. Either way, thank you for participating today, guys. I hope I wasn't too boring and you guys had fun. So thank you.